We are here at 1321 Melanie Lane in Syracuse, Utah. This is a five bedroom, two bath home with a fenced yard, a finished basement, one car garage. Um, it also has an extended parking pad. As you can see, this cement pad goes all the way through the fence there into the backyard. It's got a storage shed in the backyard. Located in a nice residential neighborhood in Syracuse. It's got easy access to um, I-15 via Antelope Drive. There is a West Davis corridor being built. Um, West Davis Highway that will be done shortly as well. And we'll have easy access to that. Plenty of great shopping and um, Restaurants here in Syracuse. It's near Layton, Clearfield um, as well. So you can see we come up to a nice covered uh, little porch area. But we'll go take a look inside. You can see we enter into a nice big living room with LVP um, flooring. This way so you can see you've got kind of like a nice little pass-through window into the kitchen and dining area really large living spaces in the home you can see you've got that nice big picture window that overlooks the front yard and then well we'll actually go here into the kitchen you can see nice modern cabinetry dark hardwood cabinets tile floors, you do have a dishwasher, um, electric range with glass top, stove, built-in microwave, plenty of cabinet space, counter space, you've got this nice breakfast bar, and then you've got a nice little dining area right next to the kitchen, and then this is cool, you've got another kind of drop living area right off the kitchen and dining, this could be a good TV room, overlooks the backyard. I'll come this way so you can kind of see how this all flows together. You can see that another kind of pass through into the dining room and those LVP floors again in this area here. We'll go take a quick look outside. So you can see that uh, cement parking all the way into the back. Got a little storage shed there, backyard, grass, nice lawn area. You can see that chain link fenced off area is a nice little garden area. You can do a little gardening if you like. And we'll go take a look at the rest of the upstairs and basement last. So we've got three bedrooms and a full bathroom on this main floor. So you've got a nice little linen closet there next to the bathroom. So we've got the shared hallway bathroom, tile floors, tub and shower combination with tile shower surround. You can see the same style cabinet and countertops is in the kitchen. Nice neutral uh, two-tone paint throughout. You've got another closet right there at the end of the hallway. from this bedroom this is the largest bedroom it would probably be considered the master even though it doesn't have a its own private bathroom it's right next to the bathroom and the largest of the three bedrooms here on the main floor but again nice neutral color palette and then we've got our third and final bedroom on this main floor. And 
Then we'll head back and we'll look at the basement as well. So you've got, like I said, a lot of large living spaces. So you've got the living room upstairs with that secondary living room off the kitchen. And then you come downstairs into the basement and you've got just this huge living area, family room um, down here in the basement as well. Just to the left here, we've got a nice, really good size laundry room. So you've got washer and dryer hookups right there. Um, you've got some more storage. That's just a utility closet with your water heater and furnace. You've got another closet for storage under the stairs. You've got some good storage space in the home as well. And again, even out here in the family room, you've got another closet. Um, we've actually got two closets here in the living room because there's one at this other end as well. And then we've got the basement bathroom. So this is the second bathroom. And then this one has a shower. You can see a nice big bathroom. And then we've got our two bedrooms just right here at the far end of the, the family room or living space. We've got our fifth and final bedroom of the house, the second one here in the basement. And then we'll head back upstairs so you can get a feel for the layout. If you'd like to schedule a showing, you can do that right from our website, which is ProRenter ut.com and we'll just head back towards that front door and that concludes our tour so thank you for taking our our tour